Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Fielder. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. FEMA is providing millions of dollars to Michigan to cover costs related to the state's COVID-19 response. The Department of Health and Human Services will receive more than $3 million to help cover costs for COVID-19 vaccine scheduling support services. The state says the funding will help support the state's goal of vaccinating 70% of Michiganders ages 16 and up. As of Friday, 50% of residents have received at least one dose of the vaccine and 38% of Michiganders are fully vaccinated. And tonight, the state of Michigan is reporting more than 3,400 new coronavirus cases. That's a decline from yesterday. The state also recorded an additional 131 deaths. That brings the state's total to 844,000 cases, with deaths reaching 17,742. More local news now, starting in Bay City, where hundreds were out for the McLaren Bay Medical Foundation's annual 5K. Today, more than 300 runners and walkers were out raising money for McLaren Bay. All proceeds from today's 5K will go to a state-of-the-art digital radiology system, which will improve the speed, accuracy, and efficiency of patient diagnosis and treatment. The race raised more than $25,000. And Midland Brewers were firing up their kettles today for National Home Brew Day. The Michigan Brew Supply hosted their annual Big Brew. Guests were able to stop by and learn about beer and winemaking and even sample some of the ingredients and booze-infused snacks. Brewers say the beauty of the hobby is you can make whatever you want out of it. The beautiful thing about home brewing is it can really be as complicated as you want it to be. Um, and I should also say, on the, you know, the flip side of that token, it can be as simple as you want it to be. Five different brewers were out showing customers what you could make at home. This year's event was toned down because of the pandemic. Now here is Matthew with a look at your weekend forecast. Thank you, Jason. Well, we did have some light shower activity move through the area uh, throughout the afternoon today. Luckily, things are starting to clear out for the most part. We're seeing some more sun out there this evening. We'll take a look at the first one five sky tracker. There's that main uh, portion of shower activity finally off to our east now. Skies are clearing out, but we are going to still have some clouds through the overnight here in the first one five hour by hour. So uh, this is getting towards midnight tonight. That cloud coverage will start to build back in. We even have the chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms throughout the overnight, especially between around midnight to 5 a.m. Uh, tomorrow. Then really for the rest of your Sunday, we're looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies and multiple chances for uh, some isolated showers and thunderstorms as well. So let's break down those temperatures tonight and tomorrow. We'll be really hanging on to the 60s even through midnight tonight, and then tomorrow we'll have another warm up up into the lower 70s by the afternoon. And over the next seven days there, uh, Loon's opening day on Tuesday looking a little cooler, but mostly dry. Cinco de Mayo on Wednesday also looking cooler with upper or lower 60s, excuse me. Uh, but overall, we are expecting this pretty solid chance of rain by Monday of next work week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.